This is your senator and friend, Alicia Chucky Hansen, keeping in touch with my people. First of all, I want to thank you all for the great response I received relative to my intervention with the PX here on St. Croix. Unfortunately, with very little notice, the PX was closed down. I sent a letter uh, to the people of power above the National Guard here in the Virgin Islands and also to the Congresswoman, the Delegate uh, Christensen. And uh, I'm happy that her response was very positive, uh, that she will look into the matter. And of course, uh, I've made some progress in the responses that I got from Washington. And in my discussions, uh, they were totally unaware of what was taking place. However, what they have done is they have processed my correspondence and now I await an official response from Washington relative to this PX because it is no way that we can sit back or the Lisa would not sit back and see the people who have fought these wars, people who are stand by every day in protection of this nation and some who have even given the ultimate price uh, be able to get the very little benefit that we provide for them and among them is the PX here in the Virgin Islands and we can just close it down for very little uh, justification like remodeling when we have alternative areas that our PX could have been uh, applied to. Uh, additionally, to have the, the PX in an area where we have ample land and facilities right there in Bethlehem. The bottom line is that there were no shown factor of respect and appreciation to the people in uniform and also to their families. This is a necessary element for our people and I will continue to fight until we get that, that PX and also to get the answers as to why it closed down in the manner it did so it can never happen again. I want to also bring to your attention the issue of um, the express mail here in the Virgin Islands. Anywhere else in the nation you pay the same amount of money for express mail. For example, in New York, Miami, Chicago, California, the express mail for overnight has a charge. And they do get the mails overnight. Here in the Virgin Islands, it, people will pay for the same overnight, but it takes two days to arrive, at least two days to arrive to the United States Virgin Islands because it has to go through some process. Someone in Washington must understand that the United States Virgin Islands carry the same flag that is carried in Miami, Chicago, Puerto Rico, uh, uh, you know, all over the nation. And we here in the territory cannot be treated all the time like second class citizens. So I've again written the Congresswoman and alerted her that this is something that must be addressed. Additionally, it has some guarantee that if you did not receive your packages overnight, then the U.S. Postal Service will reimburse you your money. That, uh, that benefit or that credit will also remove for the people of the Virgin Islands. So you're either charged less, or if you say you're going to charge for overnight, then you must provide the overnight service or you are in fact gouging the people of the Virgin Islands. So I'm hoping that with her intervention, I'll be able to resolve these issues and get some answers to the people of the Virgin Islands. Until next time, I am your Senator and friend, Alicia Chucky Hansen, keeping in touch with my people. Thank you.